Hi, I'm Miss Joy here with In The Bag Kids Crafts and today crafting with me is Elliot. <laughs> I love when you come to craft with me. Elliot, how old are you? Eight. Eight years old. So we are gonna make a craft that she picked today because we both well, we love our cats, don't we? Kitties. I know. What are your kitties' names? Finley and Zoe. Finley and Zoe. And I have Zelda and Link. So we are big cat lovers, so we're gonna make a sleeping cat today. It's only fun. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Let's get going. Here's everything that you're going to need to make the sleeping cat craft. The link for the free template is in the description. And just like always, all of the items on this list are part of the master list that we use for making every single craft here at In The Bag Kids Crafts. So once you fill your bag, you're ready to go. Go ahead and pause this so that you can take a moment and gather all the items you'll need to make the sleeping cat with us. So let's get out of our, our paint here. You have some purple over there, Elliot, and I have some orange. And we're just gonna squeeze it right out on the newspaper, just like that. <laughs> if you need a little hand, just yell. Oh, okay, all right, we need a, oh, okay, go ahead. You can squeeze some out over to the side there. It's real hard, there we go, okay. And we made a paintbrush with a clothespin yeah. and a pom-pom. We don't carry paintbrushes in the bag, but we carry this stuff. Oh no, my clothes are broke. I think I'll just use my fingers. How about that? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead. Go. The plates are upside down on our newspaper and we're gonna dip in the paint and paint the whole file. Just like that, we're gonna get the whole ah, thing. Pom-pom. <laughs> you can just use your fingers if you want. So before we started today, I said to you, what color did you want your cat to be? And you told me? Purple. Purple, which I thought was an excellent choice. So as you're painting, you can tap with the pom-pom and it makes it look almost like fur. So you feel like it's that little bit of texture. So we're gonna go ahead and speed this up and you can pause it while you're painting or you can try to catch up to us as we speed up our painting. All right, so our next step is to cut out all the parts for our sleeping cat. And since yours is purple, mm -hmm. you have purple, and I have orange for my orange cat. And let's just go ahead, and we're gonna cut out. So here we have the tail and the head and you can get this free template. I will put the link in the description below. Just click and download. And this part, it doesn't have anything. I'm just gonna kind of round it off. Okay, Ellie, you can do the same for yours. Put the 
tail. I'm just trying to put it up here a little for you so everyone can see. You're doing a great job. Yeah, it looks good. Like down here where there's no lines, you can just round it off. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you kind of left it wide open there, you huh? Did I know. <laughs> I'll do better next time, I promise. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, you're going, you're coming to it now, huh? You know exactly what I'm talking about yeah, now. Yeah, awesome. Because it's going to be like in there. So. Yeah, awesome. Because it's going to be like under the head. So. Yes, that is true. You can wrap it around however we like. Mm -hmm. Me a little bit to cut out. No, you, you take your time. There is no rush. Crafting should be fun and easy. It's not supposed to be stressful. Yeah, it's not yeah, supposed no. to be stressful. Mm -hmm. so take your time. I've made this craft before, so it goes a little faster for me. It's not really fair, is it? <laughs> so now we're going to put our cat craft together. And I to still give, have some light on it. That's okay, because you know what cats do? They're not all just a solid color, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's all right. So the thing we're gonna do to make it kind of stand up so it has like a roundish body, is so we're gonna cut a little slit oh. in our paper plate from one end just to the center stop, just like that, just a straight line. All right, go ahead, go ahead and move yours more where mine is, okay? There we go. And now we're going to overlap those two sides just a little bit. It looks like a like it has a little point. And we'll hard. take our stapler. Hold it. Just put a couple staples in. So we're gonna do even more. Take it even more overlap. Okay. And if you need someone to hold there while you staple, we there. can do that. Okay? There we go. How about if I hold and you staple? Ready? Okay. Boop. Okay. Don't staple me though, okay? Promise. You might have to. A little bit more, okay. Okay, squeeze hard. Good. Okay, and you really only need one staple. You yeah, don't only need two. Yeah, okay. One staple. So there's the body of our cat, and now we're just gonna add the head. We're gonna put it right over that crease so you don't really see those staples, right? That's, so. Oh, he's looking cute. Lots of nice glue. Whatever. On the back of the head, ready? Whatever you want. It's a Lots place. of glue. There's it your could, glue stick. It could be I like the one where I can see the glue, so that, that purple glue. But you can use any kind of glue stick you want. Yeah. I yeah. usually use purple too. Yeah, I like that. Because then, well, no, well, I'm using purple paper. I can still see it, but it's purple paper. <laughs> yeah, you can still see it, right? Yeah, it's because this is like a darker right. purple. Put it out a little farther in front of you, hun. Ah, I think it got stuck on it. I kind of like don't even like put it all down because you know his head's kind yeah, of like up a little bit mm -hmm. there we go i want his ears up and then i like to kind of see where am i going to put the tail you know how cat, the cat tail just kind of curls around the body i like it like there we go now that i know where i'm going to put it and i have an idea where i'm going to put it now i'm going to add the glue Perfect. I'm gonna do like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then his tail like a, like you can like flip it up. Absolutely. So I'm just gonna do this part. I'm gonna do this part. Put lots, whatever ah. you do, make sure you put lots on, lots of glue on because the texture of our paint sometimes makes it a little hard for the glue to stick. So you wanna have lots of glue. Lots of glue. Lots of glue. I'm gonna make mine so like the tail is even like a little on the face. I make it sure like under. I like that ours are a little different. That's I made mine like, like flippy flippy. Oh, I like that. Awesome. Okay, make sure it sticks real well. So we're gonna push that end like really just kind of like squeeze the end a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we go. 
Now this last step you can do if you want to or not. I decided I wanted to go back and since there's stripes on his head and his tail, oh, that I would yeah. put like a few stripes on his body, you know, just like for fun. I think I'm gonna do that. Let's and see. we painted our paper plates, the body of the cat, just a solid color. But when you're making yours, you can, color. yeah, you could do any kind of cat you want. Like you could do like a calico that's like orange and brown and white, yeah. you know, or you could do um, like a tiger like, like stripe cat. Or you can do like my cat with stripes. Yeah, stripes, it anything you want, huh? Let's like see, ooh, like I like that, check that pause, out, but nice. No, but the rest is like a gray. All right, so that, it's done. That's our cat okay. craft, our sleeping cat crafts. Kitty. Nice work. All right. All right. So we made our cats today, and I think these turned out so fun. I love that they're like totally different. Oh, your tail really does wag. I love that. So don't forget that you can get the instructions for this, including the printable template and all the supplies down in the description. And Elliot, what do we always say? Like and subscribe. All right. Thank you for joining us at In the Bad Kids Crafts. We'll see you again soon. Bye.